What's going on guys? It's your boy Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and I'm back yet again with another weapon review. Today is review number 53, and I'm going to be taking a look at the high-end Navy MP5N submachine gun. But before we get into the review, here's some basic stats and weapon info for you on the MP5. The country of origin is Germany. The rate of fire is 800 rounds per minute. The magazine size is 32 rounds. The fire type is full auto only and the reload speed is 2.50 seconds. The Heckler & Koch MP5, short for Machine Pistol 5, entered service in 1966 and is offered in over 100 variants including a semi-auto version. It fires the 9x19mm Parabellum cartridge from a closed bolt design and operates as a selective fire delayed blowback firearm. Our in-game variant, the Navy MP5N, was developed specifically for the U.S. Navy and entered service in 1986. It features an ambidextrous Navy trigger group, which includes semi-auto, burst fire, and full auto settings. In addition, it has a collapsible stock, straight pistol grip, tritium illuminated front sight post, and a threaded barrel for use with a stainless steel sound suppressor. I reviewed the standard version of the Navy NP5N in weapon review number 3 with my alternate character and I've always wanted to go back and thoroughly review the high-end version of this German SMG. My crafted 182 gear score version is equipped with provident, stable, and destructive along with a 23% critical hit chance and 11.7k damage after mods. I decided to feature this weapon on the daily challenge on Warren Gate Power Plant as it features quite a few shotgun rushers and heavies along with hordes of grenade spamming NPCs. The Navy NP5N is such an easy weapon to handle and it doesn't seem to lose any of those characteristics no matter what attachment you slap on it or mod you equip. The starting fire rate of 800 rounds per minute is quite good and I equipped a mag mod that brought it up just over 1000 RPM. It does bring just a bit of vertical rise into the firing characteristics of this weapon, but it's nothing a little feathering of the trigger can handle. Reload speeds are average for the SMG classification, as is the standard magazine size of 32 rounds. The base stats of 21 accuracy, 39 stability, and an optimal range of 16 meters clearly show that the MP5 is meant for close to medium range conflicts. What may surprise you about the MP5 is just how much range it can show on the battlefield, and the only time it truly struggles is at long distance firefights. It is truly a versatile weapon and provides die hard SMG users yet another uber strong weapon to choose from. I purchased my blueprint from the DZ3 safe house vendor some time ago and have experimented with this high end version. Don't be concerned if you don't find the Navy variant of this weapon, as all of the MP5 SMGs are strong, and I have reviewed them all in previous reviews. For this review, I was more specced out for DPS, and was pushing out close to 290k for an upcoming glass cannon review. It's not what I would recommend for the casual player, as I normally pull down the DPS in favor of health and stamina. My suggested mods are really anything that increases damage, as the Navy NP5N is above average across the board. Critical hit percentage and damage are always a plus and don't neglect to craft a high percentage extended mag mod. I'm going to rate the high-end Navy NP5N submachine gun a strong 5 out of 5 stars. This weapon has something for every style of player as it can cover the battlefield from end to end. High fire rate, plenty of ammo, and a nice mix of stability and RPM are all strengths of this sweet shooting SMG. Just remember, it's not a DMR and begin trying to take on enemies at extreme ranges, as it is not meant for this type of engagement. Even without mods, this weapon is a beast at any gear score, and I would highly recommend you trying it out as you will not be disappointed. As always, I would like to hear your thoughts on this weapon and my review. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my videos in your life, please click on the subscribe button in the video description and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash ltbuzzlightbeer. I will also leave a link in the description below to my entire The Division Weapon Review playlist. And remember from my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. This has been your boy Buzz saying peace out.